Hey, this is Mikey with a new After Effects video, and instead of a quick tip, I'm actually giving away a new preset. Now this preset is actually kind of a proof of concept just to see if I could do it. I've noticed that there's no real dust and scratches effect that's built into After Effects. You can add grain, you can take away dust and scratches, but you can't add dust and scratches. And so I wanted to build something that did that for me. And so here's what I came up with. looks like this and I was able to build it all as a preset um, built with shape layers so let me just kind of take you through this and see what it is in here we've got the flicker layer which is this rec it flickers on and off basically every other frame you can see it gets slightly darker and I didn't want it to be really dark I just wanted to have a little bit of a flicker and then in the dust and scratches, we've got a scratch, we've got dust, and we got hair. So there's no controls to this. Um, it's just it's just all in a shape layer. And so let me show you how to um, create this. So just it's a it's a preset. So install it into your presets. Uh, go find it in your FX and presets browser. Make sure nothing is selected, and then double click. And what it'll do is it'll create a new shape layer, and it'll add all this stuff to it. So let's take a look. Looking pretty good. Now if I want it to be more dusty or more scratchy, I can come into the contents. If I want more of everything, I can just duplicate this folder that says dust and scratches a few times. And now there's a lot more stuff going on. Pretty cool. Say I just want more of one item. Well then let's come in to say just the dust and duplicate that a few times. or if I want more scratches or more hair. Now say I don't want the flicker, I can just poke out the eyeball and it's gonna be just the dust and scratches. Or say I don't want uh, the scratches, I can turn them off as well. So that is how to use this thing. Now some things you can do to kind of make this a little bit more fun is on the video layer itself, you can add like the posterized time. Um, you go to effect time posterize time and what it does is if you stick it on half your frame rate so this is at 24 frames a second so I put on 12 then what it'll do is as I go through frame at a time it doubles the frames as if it was making a 12 frame rate video playing a 24 frame rate timeline and it kind of gives it more of an old film look now on top of this, let's go in, let's add a wiggle to the position. So I want it to wiggle 24 times a second. Actually, let's go 12 times a second because that's the frame rate with the posterized time. So wiggle, parentheses 12, comma, and let's just go like five frames is all, close parentheses. So then every time that flicker comes on, you can see it's kind of moving the frame a little bit makes it feel a little bit more like old projector. Okay, so that is the Dust and Scratches preset. It's available over at cinemaspice.net. Just follow the link in the description where you can go and get it for free. It is a pay what you want or name your own price. So if you don't want to donate any money to cinemaspice.net, um, then just put in zero dollars. But if you find this useful, then put in some money. Um, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.